So I'm always researching different body problems. And I've done several videos on gout and uric acid. And I found a remedy that I think you should know about if you have gout. If we take a look at the mechanism of how certain gout medications work, most of them work by inhibiting an enzyme that goes from purine into uric acid, okay? So they block this enzyme called xanthine oxidase. So of course the question is, is there any natural thing that can do the same thing? And the answer is yes. I'm assuming that you know that you have to get off alcohol, beer, fructose, right? To help get rid of this condition. But there's a lot of people who do that that still have gout. And gout can be devastating, especially trying to walk because it affects your foot. I mean, it can affect the entire body because you're limping and shuffling along. And all because of this one joint in your toe. Humans have lost the enzyme to help break down uric acid. What have we gained? Well, we've gained a survival mechanism to help us store fat during times of starvation, which is probably not exciting you, but that's what happened. But I don't want to get into that topic. I want to just get into this natural remedy that is quite fascinating. And that remedy is a plant chemical, let's say polyphenol, called sulforaphane. Maybe you've heard of this from the work of John Hopkins, where they did studies and found that it um, helps with cancer and they try to get the patents on broccoli sprouts. They couldn't get it. And so they apparently dropped it like a hot potato because you don't see a lot of research by them in this area. Apparently, if you can't patent it, that organization is not going to invest a lot of money into promoting it because it's something that anyone can actually grow in their garden, broccoli sprouts. But you can also get them in pill form, but they're mostly in broccoli sprouts and radish sprouts. There's several interesting things about sulforaphane. Number one, it's bioavailability. I mean, it really gets absorbed way more than any other polyphenol. It has like an 80% bioavailability. Look at the chart that I have up here. Silly Marin, 0.73% bioavailable. Curcumin, that's in the turmeric, right? 1% bioavailability. Quercetin, which is only 4%. Sulforaphane, 80%. So apparently it goes in the body like a rocket ship. There's not a lot of barriers. Another thing that's really interesting about the sulforaphane is that it has the ability to activate other genes and enzymes to get rid of poisons in the body and to take a poisonous carcinogen and turn it into something that's no longer cancer causing. It can activate over a hundred defense genes, genes that protect itself against certain things. But relating to gout, these studies were not done in humans. However, it's definitely worth it to try it out. And the cool thing about it is that the side effects are virtually nil compared to medications. So they found that it helps restore the nephron. This is the kidney cell's ability to filter because uric acid is made by our body and filtered out through the kidneys. So many times a person will have a problem at the kidney level and the kidneys are not able to deal with this uric acid and they just kind of dump it into the tissues. So sulforaphane helps this filter filter better. It also helps upregulate antioxidants to help reduce free radical damage, which relates to reducing inflammation. I mean, just think about these crystals that are forming in your big toe and how much free radical damage that's going on. Massive. It's a war with your immune system. So sulforaphane helps to regulate the reaction of the immune system to the crystals and the inflammation from many different angles. It also increases microbial diversity, which can also take a load of this uric acid out of your body because your microbes help to dismantle and degrade uric acid. So sulforaphane looks very promising. It's not that expensive, virtually zero side effects. And it could be just that missing puzzle piece that you've been looking for. Now, if you haven't seen my other video on uric acid and gout, I put it up right here. Check it out.